So, now we can calculate acceleration of the particle executing SHM. So, you, we know it V is equal to A omega cos omega t. If we differentiate it with respect to time, we will be getting acceleration. So, we can write A is equal to dV upon dt is equal to A omega minus omega sin omega t. This is the differentiation of this cos omega t. So, we can write A is equal to minus A omega square sin omega t and y is equal to A sin omega t. So, we can write A is equal to minus omega square y. It means acceleration is directly proportional to minus y negative of the displacement. This is the condition for simple harmonic motion. If this thing is here, any body is for having the motion and A is directly proportional to minus y, we can say body is having simple harmonic motion. Now, see here, if you take here A is equal to minus omega square y and multiply by with the mass both the sides. Suppose we can write A is equal to minus omega square y and I am multiplying by the mass of the body. So, we will be getting m a is equal to minus m omega square y. Here, this m a is known as force that is a restoring force and here it is this is minus k y where k is a positive constant and we can write k is equal to m omega square. So, this force is known as restoring force. Here, the k is known as the spring factor and k is a positive constant over here and it is equal to m omega square. So, for the simple harmonic motion here is also f is directly proportional to negative of the y. So, by see taking this equation or this equation we can get the expression for the time period of the body having simple harmonic motion. So, now see how do we get here the time period. So, suppose you have taken A is equal to omega square y. So, we can write omega square is equal to A upon y and omega is equal to under root of A upon y. So, 2 pi upon t is equal to under root of A upon y. So, t is equal to 2 pi under root of y upon A. So, time period can be represented as a displacement upon acceleration under root of displacement upon acceleration and multiplied by 2 pi. So, this is the time period of the body having simple harmonic motion in terms of here the displacement and acceleration. Also, we can take time period by the another way. There is alternative way for this. We have just put the values k is equal to m, m, m omega square. So, we can write omega square is equal to k upon m. So, omega is equal to under root of k upon m and it is here 2 pi upon t is equal to under root of k upon m. So, we can write here t is equal to 2 pi under root of m upon k where m is known as inertia factor that is that is actually mass inertia factor and k is known as spring factor. So, the time period of the body having simple harmonic motion is given by this formula also.